Hello, 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 my beautiful new human tribe. My name is Oracle Jesse. she, her, hers. I am here for the new humans and the old souls. And today I figured I would do <clears throat> a talk about what's going on with this uprising of um, spiritual awakening. And so here in America, there are, and all across the world, from my understanding, there are a lot, there's this, a lot of quickening and waking up energy, awakening energy. And so that's part of what I'm talking about here on this message of this channel is the new earth energy, the new earth energy coming in and us literally becoming these new humans and just being more and more committed to the divine love, the divine compassion, and the empathy that each and every one of us has access to within ourselves. And we are experiencing on this mass global scale this awakening and awareness that things may not always be as they seem and that so many things are so much more complicated than we were taught to believe, right? And so we are opening our eyes as a mass consciousness and discovering how complex humanity is and how beautiful and wonderful that the whole process is. And this is a time for us as new humans to embrace love and compassion first for our own selves because this is our human self our own individual ego human self awakening and realizing itself and unlocking its pure potential right and <clears throat> I don't know where this video is going to go. It's only less than three minutes in, but I already brought up the topic of ego, which is a really, really big topic. And I feel like, especially in the spiritual realms, ego gets a bad rap, right? And so you're supposed to let go of the ego and embrace the oneness. And no, that's just not, that's not my understanding of it. Yes, it's a understanding, and if it resonates with you, then go and take it. Um, and there are other ways to do it that integrates the ego, which is the own individual human experience, right? With the full spiritual experience that we as a collective are having. And in order to fully heal, another big topic, healing, right? In order to fully heal, for me, healing, in short, means reconnecting, reconnecting with our fuller selves, realigning, being in alignment with our higher source, our higher consciousness, our divine self within each of us, and being very congruent and reconnecting with that. Healing is removing all of the the shields that we have been conditioned to put around ourselves, our own individual selves, such as the ego. Removing those shields and allowing that full connection. So healing is, like I said to me, is a reconnecting process. Reconnecting with health reconnecting with thriving, reconnecting with abundance, reconnecting with nature, all of these things. There are a variety of ways of healing. And whatever works for the individual 
is the medicine that that individual needs. So anyway, this mass awakening is really, really hard. It is really, really hard. And so people who may have been happy, you know, not knowing certain things are just waking up to other people's way of viewing things. This is our natural progression, right, as a human species. And thanks to technology, we are now in a space that we can see what's going on around the world, right? We can see through video here through sound on the video, what's going on around, around the whole world without even leaving our homes because of the pandemic, right? <laughs> um, yeah, lots of big topics today, but it's, this awakening is happening at the exact right time. And I was listening to an astrology reading, a general astrology reading earlier today that, you know, a lot of astrologers even who look at the stars and the relationship between the stars and the sun and the earth have been apprehensive about 2020 because 2020, there's a lot of things happening. There's a lot of things astrologically happening. There's a lot of Eclipses happening. We're in eclipse season, right? And so there's a lot of uncertainty going on right now. What's the future going to look like? What is the, is it ever going to get back to normal? Short answer is no. And longer answer might include a thank goodness, right? And so when humans, who have love you so much, <laughs> who have wanted routine, 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 everything to look the same, who have been in survival mode, fight or flight mode, basically the entire span we've been on this planet, or we've been told we've been on this planet, right? Um. So we've been in survival, survival mode for this whole time. And surviving is so much easier when we have a society with rules that are predictable. And we think we know what's going to happen next. And with all of the unrest that is going on right now it's happening because these these individual humans are awakening right and when it happens it is really 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 uncomfortable and people who like that predictability do not like feeling uncomfortable. It's, they're still partially in that survival mode, right? Um, fight or flight. So when they're clinging so hard to that reality that they have created and they have benefited from, and they have, and they count on to continue to benefit from, and they come up against other people who are dreaming of a better world, who know that injustices have been done in the past, and who want freedom for all people of all kinds, that's, that's going to clash. That is a clashing, that is recipe for disaster as we are 
somewhat experiencing, depending on where we're at in the world, right? And so this is happening on a mass scale at this time. And we are experiencing a whole stream of emotions. Who knows what's going on for some of us on some days, right? And um, it is really, really hard for those starting to awaken. And that is what I am here for. I am here to help those that are just now starting to kind of get their footing. And as I said in my last video or the extended video, I can't remember, but there is no roadmap for this. Okay, Oracle Jesse, so how do you expect to get newbies some footing? Great question. <laughs> it's all about tapping into your own inner self and having a dialogue between your ego self and your higher self and allowing the dynamic to adjust itself naturally and enjoying the process. Okay, maybe not enjoying the process, right? Because sometimes it goes like this and sometimes it's, you know, not a very fun roller coaster. But it's about in enjoying and appreciating the end result. Being a little better today than you were yesterday. Allowing yourself the grace to really screw it up sometimes. And even, even if it is just in that moment, just to be like, Oh, wow, that happened, you know, and breathe, give yourself a second, come back to your center, come back to yourself that knows everything's going to be okay, and that this process that we are in as an individual and collective, that this is a process of expanding and contracting, right? So just allowing that space to freak out sometimes and then come back. And maybe it, you freaked out and it was with your children and you could come back and say, hey, I really screwed up. I really blew it up. I'm sorry. Here's what we can do going forward. Let's do this together. Maybe it's with your partner. Maybe it's just with yourself. Just allowing yourself to have that dialogue of, hey, it's okay. We don't, we don't have to do things the old way. Let's connect with our higher self, our best version and vision of ourself and see how they would do it. How would I do it if I already had my goal, right? This is... where the energies are coming faster um, sometimes and the energies are coming at a different frequency. So um, maybe I could do another topic video on this, but the law of attraction and manifestation. So you'll notice sometimes that manifestations are coming sooner than you expected or sooner than they normally would. Um, that's because we are we are not going back to normal and the earth isn't either, okay? <laughs> so the earth is changing frequencies just as much as we are. And we, n new humans and newly awakening humans, are 
we have an important role. We are the energy holders. We are the light holders. We are the light workers or the light warriors or light beings or however you choose to label yourself. We are embracing that role and stepping up and saying, it's okay for me to feel uncomfortable because that is where I will grow. It's okay for me to go through some shit because I know how to turn my shit into fertilizer and grow from there. Okay, drinking some water. Distilled water. Okay. What else? So yeah, I guess this is a very long message for those of you who are newly awakening humans and realizing what it means to be and become new humans. New humans are committed to being the most divine loving and divine compassionate versions of themselves in any given moment. And yes, sometimes that means standing up for yourself. Sometimes that means standing up for others. Sometimes that means staying in your comfort zone because you need a rest. Sometimes that means going outside your comfort zone and allowing yourself to feel uncomfortable, to feel confronted, to feel like you're struggling with something on the inside that wants to come out, but you're not sure how to express it. And really, it's you and your higher self that knows what's best for your version of humanity. Because there are about 7 billion, what, 7, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> 7 billion people, 7 billion versions of divine humanity, the beautiful new humans we are evolving into. Your own unique version is essential for our move forward as a collective. You are needed. You are unique, just like everyone else. We need your light. We need your magic. We need your version of divine love, divine compassion. And if you're interested in meeting more beautiful new humans, I am going to be running some sort of contest or workshop here soon in my Facebook group. So I will put the link in the description box below. It's called New Human Central. And feel free to look it up, join us there. We will be we will be doing some fun things here soon. So thank you all so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any new human, newly awakened light being, healer, uh, light worker <laughs> topics or questions, please leave them in the description box below. We, it, it is our time. We are leading the way and holding the energy. It's our time to do so in the most loving and compassionate way possible. So, again, thank you all so much for being here. Sending you all so much love. Asala, bye bye.